Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another renovation video. I am super excited about this one in particular because it's something kind of different than we have been usually doing on this channel. So usually uh, on Fridays I renovate a random house uh, from the uh, game, a random EA house. But today instead of renovating a house, I actually decided to renovate a community lot. So this is the uh, Burners and Builders Gym in Oasis Springs, and um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to do something different. I've really been feeling like kind of branching out lately, and you know, I have some more creative ideas for build videos and stuff like that, and so I'm really... I'm really trying to just branch out my content and just do some different things and so I thought that you know renovating a community lot um, would be refreshing in a way I guess so that's what we're doing today uh, I really like the way that it turned out actually I think that it's really um, like light and fun I think that the color scheme I went with is really like cozy and welcoming in a way I don't know <laughs> I'm not good at describing things, but yeah, I think it's cute. Um, I really like, uh, there's like some yoga mats, there's like a little yoga area, and then, you know, there are treadmills, obviously, punching bags, the weightlifting machines, like the whole works. There's also a little like kind of kitchen area where your sims can have, you know, some food if they, you know, get hungry. There's a little seating area if they just want to sit down and relax after a hard workout. And then the bathroom, um, I also changed that because in the original one there was just like three bathroom stalls and I changed it to four now, which I mean it's not that much different, but you know, it's fine. Uh, one thing that was really weird about this renovation is the lot, as you can see, is built diagonally and I've never really built or decorated a diagonal um, anything before and so it was kind of weird uh, for me. But I think it turned out okay either way. Uh, it, it was just really weird. Like the placement of things are weird. And I turned the grid off. Like you'll notice usually I build with the grid on. But I turned it off for this one. Which you can do by just pressing the G key on your keyboard while you're in uh, build mode. Uh, because the diagonal grid was just tripping me out. And it was just weird. And I didn't want it. <laughs> so I just turned it off because I couldn't handle it. But yeah, I don't know, it's a, it's a cute build. I like it, I hope you guys like it. It is available for download on my gallery if you wanna download it and use it in your game. I do think that in both my Let's Plays I'm going to replace the Burners and Builders Gyms with this one, just because it's something I need and so it'll be fun to show off my own work. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I might not in um, Sisterhood because that's the Lil Cindy save that that let's play is in so out of respect for her i'll leave it the same but for sure infinity and legacy um we'll do some switcheroos you know uh <laughs> which by the way i've already recorded um sunday's episode of fitting and legacy for this week and guys <laughs> i really don't know what's gonna happen in that that let's play because everything has suddenly taken a turn away from what I was planning <laughs> and I'm like oh no what do I do so it's kind of like weird and I don't know how to feel about it but that's fine it's all fine it'll all be okay in the end I'm sure of it um yeah it's okay uh I really love that let's play though you guys um I know that my let's plays like don't really get that many views or anything whatever but they're so fun I love my sims, I really do, they're just so great, <laughs> and I'm so lame, but that's, I mean, it's fine. Um, anyways, <laughs> that's enough actually talking about the game that we're playing. Um, I, I want to talk to you guys about something, because um, if you didn't know, Canada celebrates Thanksgiving in October rather than November, which is when the... United States celebrates it, and I'm not too sure about anywhere else, um, but yeah, so in Canada, it is actually, the day you're seeing this is the Friday before Thanksgiving weekend, so technically the Monday is Thanksgiving, but a lot of people celebrate Thanksgiving on Sunday, 
also. So it's kind of like Thanksgiving Sunday, Thanksgiving Monday, kind of like Easter, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, but it's I'm half excited and half not excited. The reason that I'm not excited is that uh, I work at a grocery store and a lot of like for this entire week and it started like like it's already started but for this entire week people just buy turkeys like giant frozen turkeys and it's horrible because if you haven't been here for a while you may not know that a couple of years ago uh, my first Thanksgiving working at my the grocery store I work at I actually like dislocated my wrist trying to lift a turkey out of someone's cart because my hand like got stuck between the turkey and the cart and so when I lifted it just like pulled like pulled my wrist right out of the socket and I just kind of like uh, like popped it back this sounds so gross <laughs> but yeah I just kind of like popped it back and then never like went to the doctor or anything about it and now my wrist is just messed up and so Thanksgiving is a very emotional time for me. <laughs> it brings back a lot of intense memories. And uh, yeah, that's, um, that's why it's not great. But I work on Thanksgiving Monday, which is a stat holiday. So get paid more. And I work eight hours. And I'm really excited about that because it's going to be a good paycheck. <laughs> and I'm, you know, that's all I care about. So no kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's a... Uh, gonna be a good time. I'm very excited about it, actually. Uh, so yeah, Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all who are in Canada or anywhere else that celebrates Thanksgiving this week. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, last year on Thanksgiving, <laughs> man, Thanksgiving is just an eventful time for me, apparently. Just everything goes wrong for me around Thanksgiving, I guess. Um, last year, on Thanksgiving Monday, uh, I told the story when it happened, but I don't know how many of you guys remember it, so I'm going to tell it again because it's just funny to me. Uh, <laughs> so on Thanksgiving Monday last year, my boyfriend and I went to go see the movie Deepwater Horizon. I'm not going to spoil anything. It's a very good movie, um, but I will say it's a very sad movie, and it's based off of like a, an event that actually happened. Okay. Side note about the build, I do realize that I put in two different kind of weightlifting machines and I didn't notice that they were different ones until I already uploaded the build to the gallery and was taking the screenshots. And I was like, well, too late to fix it now. So yeah, I know that there are two different kinds of weightlifting machines. I just kind of told myself it looked cute. Anyways, Deepwater Horizon, very sad movie based on a real life event that I was alive for that a lot of people died in. Uh, <laughs> there's your you know brief summary of why this is a really sad movie but going to the movie I didn't know that it was based off of the real event that happened and I didn't know a bunch of people were gonna die and I did, like I didn't know that it was such a sad movie and like a frustrating movie so I was like excited to go to this movie because all of the like like promotions for it like the trailers and stuff are were all really really good and so I was so excited to go to this movie and on our way there, uh, going into the parking lot, uh, your girl got in her first car accident. <laughs> so some lady uh, driving a Jeep, uh, like a big Jeep, and then me driving my tiny little Honda Accord, uh, she went through a stop sign and T-boned me. Fun stuff. And um, I yelled at her and made her cry. So, oops. Yeah, this like 30 year old woman started crying because me, a 17 year old girl, started yelling at her. I didn't even really yell at her. I said something to her in a very sassy way because that's the only way I ever say things. And she started crying. And I was like, well, shouldn't hit my car. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of my proudest moment if I'm being honest with you guys. But uh, yeah, that happened. And every time. I go to the movies now because I love going to the movies. But every time I go and I drive to where past that stop sign and I just think, man, this is where I got hit by a 30 year old woman who I then made cry. Uh, and then after that, so that happened and um, I was really stressed out and annoyed because 
it was a huge dent in my car that ended up being a like four thousand dollar dent um so yeah it was a it was a bad dent okay <laughs> and i was really stressed out and my boyfriend was like well do you still want to go to the movie and i was like yes i still want to go to the movie because in my mind i love going to the movies it's so fun and i just love it more than anything and so i was like yes this is gonna make me feel better because i love going to the movies and so going is just gonna cheer me up and brighten me up and i'm gonna feel great after and so we went to the movie and it was really depressing and awful and did not make me feel any better <laughs> so there was that um yeah that's uh that's my tales of thanksgiving past i don't have a good track record with thanksgivings because two years ago i messed up my wrist and then a year ago i got in my first car accident so i mean who knows what's gonna happen this thanksgiving it's just I mean, really, it's going to be exciting to find out. I actually close on Thanksgiving. Um, so, I mean, hopefully nothing horrible goes wrong. Uh, maybe we can break the Thanksgiving curse. That would be uh, great. <laughs> Please. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's pretty iffy. Um... So yeah, those are my Thanksgiving stories. That was pretty much all I had planned to talk about today, but it's okay. Oh no, the video is like only halfway done. All right, well, gotta saddle up and come up with some more great content. Uh, if I seem kind of, I feel kind of down, like I'm not as like on and excited and just energetic as I usually am, I just had a bad night last night and so I'm still just kind of not feeling it um I basically had like a panic attack but like worse <laughs> and I don't want to like talk too much about it because it's kind of depressing and sad to talk about but um basically I have these little I call them episodes where it's like it starts as a panic attack and then it just gets worse and worse and worse until I'm literally just like laying there and I can't move and I can't breathe and I just can't speak nothing I just lay there clenching my fists and my mind just races about awful things and it's bad so <laughs> so yeah that's why I'm not super energetic and peppy and happy like like usual um oh my god I want to say you just saw me do the bathrooms and there are four completely identical bathrooms and that was the first time I ever used like the copy and paste thing that they added so you can like copy a room and then place it the exact same room down and yeah I, that was my first time using it and I loved it it was great I was like wow this is actually really handy oh my god hmm happy day so that was good wow good job EA that's a great feature I love it um yeah it's pretty awesome uh, and I definitely think that, I think it's really handy for community lots, actually. And I think I've decided that along with renovating every house, I want to renovate every community lot. And when I first um, started this series, that was kind of like in my head, like we're going to renovate all the houses and all the community lots. But then as I was doing it, I just kept doing houses and kept doing houses because that's what I'm used to. That's what's safe for me. That's in my comfort zone. So that's just what I kept doing. And, um, now I'm branching. I'm branching out. Look at me, I'm growing. <laughs> I also want to start building community lots. I've built, like, one community lot, and it's not that great. It's like an ice cream parlor or something. I don't even know. Uh, but it's not good. So, there's that. Uh, don't watch it. Don't try and find it. It's bad. Lots of my videos are bad, so just don't worry about it, but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I want to do community lots. I actually have some really exciting ideas. Okay, well, I have one really exciting idea. Kind of two. And they're very creative and very out there. And I don't think I have the talent to pull them off. But Lord knows I'm going to try. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm, they're for builds. They're build ideas. Um, and so I'm going to try and do that. I'm, I'm trying really hard to come up with like fun new creative creatism ideas but I got nothing you guys like nothing my creatism well has run dry it's gotten to the point where I will literally just make a sim 
and then just be like, what is, like, all of my creative sims are blank beauty, blank babe, um, blank cutie. Yeah, that's basically all of my creative sim names ever. Like, um, recently we have Autumn Beauty that happened. Um, we had a uh, laid back babe. Yep, there we go. Uh, I had a blue eyed babe, I think, that I did. Um, that's just what I do. Uh, Sweetie Pie was kind of different. That was a cute name that I came up with. I don't know. But yeah, builds, I'm trying so hard to just be creative and fun and out there. Um, I will say, don't expect any Halloween videos from me because as the queen of unpopular opinions, I hate Halloween. There, I said it. I really hate Halloween. And last year I did some Halloween stuff because I was trying to be all like mainstream and like all the cool channels were doing Halloween stuff, so I did it too. But in reality, I hate Halloween and I feel like by making Halloween videos and playing into that narrative that I'm not being true to myself. <laughs> this is me being extremely dramatic over things that don't matter. But yeah, so I'm, I'm probably not going to do any Halloween themed things. I'm just going to pretend it's not happening and wait for Christmas because I love Christmas and I really, really hate Halloween. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Ask anyone who knows me in real life. I'm not a Halloween girl. Like, everyone is changing their names on Twitter for the month of October to, like, Halloween-themed names. Like, for example, Lil Simsy changed her name to Lil Spooksy. It's, like, Halloween-themed. You get it? I did that last year. Not again. But anyways, on that hateful note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this renovation build. And if you'd like to see some more community lots from me, let me know in those comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a super amazing day and I will see you in my very next video. Bye guys.